Hi, hello. This is Wadden, and today we're gonna play some Elden Ring. We, well, me. I shouldn't say we. This is just me. I did some testing. I recorded some footage that I'm really not happy with because the performance was really bad in the game. Did a bit, done a bit of tweaking. And I'm at the point where I'm happy where it is. One of the major issues I was having was enemies were turning invisible. Which, in a Dark Souls game, is not the greatest. But, it is what it is. We... It seems that the invisible enemies are somehow tied to the frame rate of the game. So the only real way to fix that is to just improve the frame rate. And I've done that. I don't... There's probably going to be some areas where it will continue to dip down. I noticed that particle effects bring it down. But it's a problem that's affecting both Windows and Linux users, so it's probably not something that I can just fix on my own. That all being said, I'm at a point... Like I said, we're at a point... Or I'm at a point where I'm happy with how it looks. So... We're going to roll with what we got. Got my Steam controller ready. And we are starting the game. Need to actually show what it looks like first, though. There we go. All right. And we got a little HUD in the top right. Thinking I might just leave that there. Am I able to resize this? Up to screen. Nope. Nope. It wants to stay where it is. All right. Well, we'll roll with that. So this is. Let me share my specs, actually. It's a Ryzen 5 5600X 6-core dual processor. So, basically 12 cores. And my GPU is five, uh, an R RX 570, which is a little bit low, but as you can see, my, C my GPU usage isn't going crazy. And we are rolling without EAC, which is why we're getting this message. So there's no anti-cheat, which means no online, which I'm fine with. I would like to play online, but for the first playthrough, I'm okay just going in clean with no online elements and then getting to, getting to see the multiplayer chaos that comes after. If for no other reason than the fact that the performance with EAC really sucks. So that's one of the things I had to sacrifice. And I'm okay with that. So if you were watching, hoping that, uh, hoping that I'd get into some multiplayer shenanigans, don't hold your breath, because we don't know for sure if it'll improve to the point where I can do that. And even if it did, I don't know if I really care that much anyway. And I have played a little bit I've done, man, I've done, there's like the, the, the dragon burnt keep. It's like this swampy little burnt out castle that teleported me to a place. So I've been there. I don't remember any of the names. I'm just starting a new profile right now though. So I've, I've done a little bit of traveling. I was playing as warrior, kind of your dex build. I might go with Vagabond, or Hero, or Bandit. I don't know. It's hard to decide what I really want. I may just stick with Warrior. I mean, I've always been fond of the deck builds. Even in the first Dark Souls. Some people don't like the deck builds, but you know what? Fuck those guys. The prisoner. 
There's the confessor, there's the wretch. I might even go bandit. Because this game does seem to put an emphasis on mobility and sneaking. Much more so than any other Dark Souls that I've played with so far. Show status. Oh, okay. Oh, and this is... That's the... Okay, no, maybe not the only class. The Samurai and the Bandit seem to be the only two classes that give you a ranged weapon right off the start. Maybe I'll go with Bandit. You know what? Hmm. Okay. We'll name him Rainer. I don't know why. I just feel like naming that for my cat. Witcher. Yeah. Origin bandits. Alright, so let's take a close look. Close look at the stats. Dex is 13. I thought Warrior does have a higher dexterity than the bandit. That's not what I expected, actually. Bandit has very high ar arcane, which is like luck, I guess. Well, let's view the explanation. Attribute governing discovery also affects holy defense, vitality, and certain sorceries and incantations. Attribute governing HP also affects fire resistance and immunity. So, I'm not sure what they mean by vitality, because this has had multiple meanings throughout the Souls games. <laughs> Vitality was the stat that governed your HP in the first game. And then that got switched to Vigor, and Vitality started to mean your ability to carry, to wear heavier gear. And now Endurance does that. So what does Vitality mean in this case? Holy Defense, Vitality, and Certain Sorceries and Incantations. Maybe just, like, Life... Magical life force? I don't know. Well, we'll go with Bandit. I don't know what to expect, but I bet it'll be cool. So, and... I think I decided I want to go with the Golden Shibiris. Whoa. Oh yeah, this one. This is your hard mode button. I'm gonna go with Golden Seed, though. Choose base templates. Do, 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 do. Aristocrat, Seafarer, Draconian. I was thinking of going Nightfolk with my previous character. Ah, heck, why not? Alter hair and face. He's got, a, got some freaky eyes. Make them normal sized irises, but with a different color white. Or white color. Actually, let's go bright red. And then black iris. Yeah, that's freaky enough. I like that. Iris color. You can change the color of the... Heck, you know what? Let's do some goofy stuff. Skin features. Skin luster. What does that change exactly? Okay, makes his face... Changes the shininess of his face. We'll keep it the way it is. Dark circles under the eyes. Dark circle color. No, you know what? Let us do the tattoo thing. I did this with my previous character while I was testing things out, and I like the way it looks. To mark. Go this. Or we could go this. Or we could go this. Put one of these over the... Oh, we'll do this, actually. This is a little different. Tweak vertical. 
I'm not gonna spend all day on character creation, by the way. Angle expansion. A flip. It should be symmetrical mostly. Might be a little bit off center. Angle's a little different. Yeah, we'll leave it this way. And change the color. Make it white. Why not? And no eye patch. We'll leave the one. Because, I mean, then we could be covering up one of the eye colors. And that defeats the purpose. This right eye is the red one, which is good. This, I mean, right is red. Circles. That's not a political thing either. Yeah, the, the Liberal Party is... Liberal Party is red, isn't it? Or is it the Conservative Party? Who knows? Anyway. Eyelashes. Let us... Just like minimal eyelash, eyelash options. That's fine with me, though. Facial hair. We do a little bit of a beard. Change the top hair. A little frizzy. Mm. We'll do this. Kind of almost a Geralt look. White hairs. How does that work when your hair is mostly silver? Hmm. Now let's keep it silver. Root darkness. Interesting. Yeah, we're good with this. Face structure. Adjust face template. Oh, okay, yeah. Form emphasis. Oof, okay. I'm not gonna spend all day on this, like I said. Let's do a couple of similar faces. And one more. And let's change his hair, because his hair is covering up one of his eyes. There we go. Much better. And we'll save that to favorites. Okay, and we have our bandit. Let's go. And this time I'm going to pay a little more attention to the story. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Went down the wrong wind bike. <clears throat> Our home, whoever the narrator is. He 
you got owned. metal as fuck. Man, everyone hates the dung eater. Those are ears and eyeballs, maybe. And possibly other organs. I'm still trying to figure out what is the Elden Ring. It's either an object, a place, or a group of people. Or entities of some type or another. Really not clear. Maybe it, maybe it won't be clear. Maybe it's like the Dark Soul. It's not quite clear what the Dark Soul is. Other than like one of the Lord's Souls from the Dark Soul. Never mind. There's a whole thing about that. <clears throat> All right. So here's my bandito. Do some quick stabby stabs. The path be broken and uncertain. Claim your place as Elden Lord. Okay. Okay. Happy with this so far. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using gyro controls on my Steam controller. Which I found to be very helpful in previous Souls games where you have a bow and arrow. Speaking of which... Oh. Do we want to keep the bow in our offhand? Okay. I haven't. This is my first time using a ranged weapon in this game so far. Can I hold? Release. Okay, cool. Oh, wrong button. Oh, yeah. So I got no healing right now. I 
28 arrows. I can't collect arrows, can I? Oh, no. There was an arrow in the wall, but I'm guessing I can't collect them. You weren't able to collect the recollect your arrows in the previous games. <clears throat> so this is okay. This is a much better frame rate than what I was experiencing when I was testing this out in this area. Yeah, so I know yeah. So I'm spoiled on the beginning, I guess you could say. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Very first time I tested this out, this place was just covered in messages. That was before I disabled EAC. So, that's one thing that's a, a little bit sad, is I won't see the messages, but I also kind of just want to figure things out for myself. Where's he come from? Oh, he comes from there. Alright. So, seeing as how the thief is weaker... Oh yeah. Doesn't take much. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm not actually supposed to be able to see anything there. It's just supposed to be black. Because I got knocked the heck out. She has Mark on her hand. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if he does violate the Golden Order. I'm trying to figure out what the Elden Ring is, and then they throw something like, violate the Golden Order at me, and I'm like, well, what is that? Anyway, I am going to blaze through the tutorial, even though I've already beaten it, and I'm familiar enough. But I want to get the little strength emo at the end. Crimson Tears and Cerulean Tears. Eighth Knowledge. It's unfortunate that C Crimson Tears and Cerulean Tears both are can be acronym CT. Because then it's like... Neither of them are, have a short form. That makes sense without the other. Grace, lost grace, and we're off. Do, do, do. 
It's gonna be a sneaky sneak. There we go. Yeah, the first time I went through this tutorial, the enemies were invisible. Okay. Ooh, there we go. There's our parry. Oh, hello. Oh, did I frighten you? See, I parried him. And I wouldn't have known that I parried him if it weren't for that noise, because the way his animation was, it didn't look like I had parried him. It looked like he was just a normal pose. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got you. I'm just going to ignore you. Ooh. We got some Roa fruit. There we go. Broke your shield. Oh, it only took like several power attacks. Ooh. Kind of like how fat, how speedy I am. There we go. Ah. Uh, let's test this out. Oh. Oh, now you're coming for me, eh? I don't know if I'm going to stick with the dagger. Oh. Oh. We got a quick step. Nice. Oh, that uses up my FP, though. So maybe I will not overuse it. Ooh, yeah. Ah, uh, I messed up the backstab. All right. Okay, there is a boss to fight there. Can I not see him yet? Or is it just not visible? Yeah, imagine going through this area with like 25 FPS and invisible enemies. That's basically what happened to me when I first run through this. Aw oh, man, I was doing it way too early. It's gonna take some getting used to, going for the two button combination to two hand. Weapons. Okay. That's their respawn statue. Ah, there's the enemy. He's standing up there. Oh. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it so make it easy to break an enemy's stance. RT immediately after blocking an attack. What if I just do this instead? <laughs> there we go. I was at the wall too. Ooh. 
What's over here? Is there anything over here? I don't feel like I fully explored this the first time I went through. No. No, this is just a fighting arena. And we got an emote. Strength. Oh. Oh, we don't have emotes on select anymore. Where do we have emotes? Actually, that is a good question. Not that emotes are the most important thing, but... Now I... Oh, wait. We're over here. Ow. Do your bow. Give your enemy an opportunity to attack you while you're bowing. Jump for joy. I feel like these animations have barely changed at all since even the first Dark Souls. Not sure if I've seen that one before. Okay, yeah, this one has changed. And this one has definitely... Or maybe it hasn't, I don't know. It changed a little bit. That is an important emote. When you want to put someone down, you just point down. Ooh, strength. Where's strength? This one. No, oh, that's back in... This one is strength. I feel like that's a new one. There's probably going to be situations where I tried to do the old style jump, which makes no sense anymore. Oh yeah, and in my test while testing, I figured out how to get up there. It requires falling down a big cliff. And then going to a beach. I'll probably do that again. Alright, so half an hour, done the tutorial stuff. Touch this one. And I did find that you get the swordstone key for these things. Do I have a sword stone? Wait, wait. Did I get a sword stone key? From being a bandit? No, I didn't. Mmm, great knife. Let's take a look at that. Large knife with a broad curved blade. This weapon is designed to slash and rend, inflicting blood loss upon the recipient. Perform a quick step maneuver that allows for circling around locked on enemies. Short bow. Small bow made to fire arrows over great distances. Other than its ability to fire off arrows in rapid succession, it is also well suited for use on horseback. To use a bow, arrows must also be equipped. Barrage. Archery skill that using a bow held horizontally. Ready the bow, then fire off a rapid succession of shots faster than the eye can see. And we have 14 bone arrows. I'm guessing that the bone arrows are ones that you can just make yourself. And the buckler shield. Small metal round shield. The bump in the center is designed to parry. Okay. This is faster than a regular parry. Nice. Mask of black cloth that covers the mouth. Favored by bandits for hiding their faces. It also provides some protection against poison. Okay. There's all my info items. I think that's what they're called. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can turn off this tutorial tips. Show tutorials. There we go. 
All right. Nothing else here. Let's go up. Open that up. And there's this dude out here. I killed him while I was testing. I don't think I'll kill him again. Maybe I'll regret not killing him. I don't know. Lost Grace Discovered. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? He's wearing a mask, isn't he? Oh, he said the line. Without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Actually, yeah. Are you just hanging out here so you can tell me that? Luckily for you, however, oh. There is one oh, he actually does sell you more stuff. Totally did not listen. With grace, the golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. The path that a tarnished. And that's my tea. Indeed, grace's guidance holds. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Ooh. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. The castle storm veil, over on the cliff. Oh, that one. The home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Blasted. Is he the guy I was just fighting? Because I would like to go back up there and kick his ass. It's time you set off, I suppose. The castle storm If you seek the Elden Ring, Maidenless has you. Yep. Alright, cool. So we'll sit down here. Excuse me. So yeah, there's some stuff I could do. It's not going... it's going there. Hmm. It's going to that tower there. Let's go on a tangent first. Small golden effigy. The summoning pool is now functional. Nice. I... I'm gonna... oh, actually, you know what? I don't know how to get more arrows. There is item crafting, but I do not have access to it. I'm assuming I can make my own arrows, but I could be wrong. All I got is this knife. So... You know what? Let's go to where I was before. I'm probably not going to be able to fight all the enemies I did before. As a warrior. Or whichever, whichever one is the dex build. I forget which. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's the path I took before. There's a bat up there, but that's okay. Hey, him no mind. My controller is dying. Come on. Okay. I will I will be right back. Forty 
minute mark. Really dies. 